Hi guys, Jason here from Lowen Roads. Today we're looking at the brand new Swift Voyager 540. This is a beautiful seven metre motor home front to back. Four berth, four travel seats. It's on the Ford vehicle. Automatic transmission on this one. It's a good looking van, inside and out, well designed. I think it's going to be a, a smash hit this. This is a, a demonstrator that we've got here at the, at the dealership, but we have got some coming through, available. This is the outside of it, I'm going to get into the inside and show that off in a second. So moving into this inside, let's check it out. So, as I mentioned, this is a four berth. You'll notice you've got the electric drop down bed at the top. The underneath folds out into a double bed also. I'll start at the front and work back. So in the cab, this is on the, the Ford vehicle. This is an automatic transmission. It's a two litre engine, 155 brake horsepower. If I'm not wrong on that one. In the cab, you've got captain and passenger swivel seats on this. You've got some overhead lighting here, bit of storage on the top nice sunroof there lighting the three-point plugger here which is going to be accessible when you're in the bed above and this will work as a little bit of a nighttime shelf again on both sides moving on to the living room area you'll notice you've got this dining table now underneath the seats here and we have photos of this in our Facebook post about this vehicle. You've got two travel seats under this one and this one. You just open the cushions and fold them out. The table is electric in here. You've got a switch just above the kitchen. Like that, it goes up and it goes down. Now the table works, of course, as a dining table, but it also drops down and works as a base for the fold out bed underneath here. Again, we've got photos of the bed folded out on the Facebook post. You've got a lever underneath here, which gives you the option to move the table around a little bit to whatever's gonna suit you. If you wanted to get it out the way to give you a little bit of more, you know, foot flow on the side or whatnot. You've got the electric drop down bed here. So it's got a seat belt here for traveling to make it secure. Cool little feature is right now the seat belt's in the lever here won't drop it. But if we take the seatbelt out, a bit of a foolproof plan, now it should just work like that. Now you've got a couple of optional height on the electric drop down bed. Ladder height is about so high. You can clip your ladder just on the front there. The ladder's in the garage on this one currently. That'll allow you to climb up on the top. You've got the netting that pops up, connects to the seatbelt holders at the top there. That stops you from <laughs> rolling out of bed. You can go all the way down a little bit lower, the same height as the cushions. So it's sort of hip height. You can just turn and, and get in there a bit easier. If it was only two people using it, if it was four people, you'd put it to that height and then make the bed underneath acting as like a double bunk bed, if that makes sense. So with the up, you've got no you know, compromise in your social area. This is a nice open space. You can sit and be comfortable. Move the dining table to suit your needs of how many people it's knocking around. All the blinds in here. We've got privacy blinds, fold down bug screen. For the summertime when it's hot. Moving on to the kitchen now, you'll see we've got the oven here, the three gas hob cookers and the hot plate option. Of course, sink, some USB ports up at the top, 
three pin plugs, lighting, a good size storage in here for the kitchen. Of course, more down below. On the opposite side of the motor home, we've got the fridge. And opens this way, nice little feature, opens that way. Freezer, it's full length, bit of storage down below. Overhead storage. That's fine. Then you've got your electrics down here in this cupboard. So it's tucked away nice and neat. Coat hanger, a little bit of open storage space here. Now, moving on, we've got the rear bathroom. Your separate toilet here, under sink storage, nice big open sink, full length, nice big mirror, lighting up at the top. Shower, look at the stylish marble finish on this. It's beautiful, it's a nice big open size, you're going to be comfortable, towel rack and whatever, on both sides, there and there. Nice feature here, as this opens up, and look at the space in there. So bear in mind, this vehicle sits at seven meter, but this opens it right up for storage. In the back there, and also underneath, down here, this opens up, giving you access to the garage, which we're gonna go and explore in a second. Hides well, opens it up with that mirror. You've got the solid panel here that opens across. You just do this like so, and that's it closed. Giving you that privacy. So this is the inside of the Voyager 540. Quite stylish. Control panel and whatnot above the door. Now let's go outside and check these rear garages out. So you've got two access panels on here, one on both sides. You've got lighting in here. Your blow air heater does come through here. That's the hatch that we looked at before. On the back, we've got the rear reverse camera. A nice feature on here is check out the lights. You see that little swish for your indicators? nice finishing touches and then this side it's nice it's taller for anything else that you might try and store a few shelves spots up there hangers here nice quality finishing touches on this everything's been thought, thought through thoroughly that's your gas container so what do you think this is the the swift voyager 540 We've got a few of these available coming through in the next coming months. If you've got any questions or would like to inquire, drop a comment below, visit our Facebook page. We've got finance available, part exchange. Thanks for watching.